Chamberlain was relatively easy to the extent, at least as far as I know, he isn't in any other novel. I've never come across one. I did a documentary for the BBC 30 years ago about the Munich Agreement and met people who knew him and worked with him, like Alec Douglas Hume, who was his private parliamentary private secretary, and his daughter, Dorothy, both now dead. And I had a sense of his character. Uh, and because I was really had the feel to myself, that was, that was not so hard. Uh, Hitler, of course, is, is awful to put in a novel, and um, it's the only thing really that made me think twice about doing it, because it's such a cliché uh, and so difficult to get away with. Uh, and the only crisis I had in the writing of the book was when the first time my hero, the German, goes into a room and Hitler is there. It just felt so awful to write it. I actually called my editor and said, I don't think I can go on with this. Uh, she came and saw me and talked me down. And then I went on. And really what I did was um, you glimpse Hitler and you, each time you get a little bit closer to him in the book until in the end, my central German figure, who is an English speaker and has to compile the foreign press summary for Hitler when he's on his train heading to Munich. Um, he finishes it and then an adjutant appears and suddenly says, come with me. So he follows him and then the adjutant says, no smoking beyond this point. And that's the first point that the character realises, and perhaps the reader also, that we are actually now going to uh, meet Hitler. And I think that I've managed to get away with it, but it wasn't easy.